Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how we can deploy the AWS infrastructure using Terraform and GitHub Actions. This is basically a pipeline which will help you to automatically deploy the resources. Let's start the demo. First of all, let's create a GitHub repo called Video TF Infra. This repo would be private. Let's create. Now our repo is created. Now we will clone the repo to our local machine. To do that, we need to copy the URL. Let's do it. And we need to run git clone in our Visual Studio code terminal. We will store our code in this repo and will enable GitHub Actions for it to deploy the Terraform code. Inside the folder, we will create a new folder for Terraform code. In this folder, we will keep our code. Now, we will create the configuration which is required to create AWS resources. We will create a file named as provider.tf. In this file, we will add the details of the required Terraform provider. Here, we are mentioning that we need AWS provider which is present at the source HashiCorp slash AWS and the version of the provider. Next, we will configure the provider settings. In the provider block, we will mention the provider name as AWS and the region where we want Terraform to create resources. One more configuration is required for the pipeline which is remote backend. So backend is the file where Terraform stores the state of the run. So remote backend helps developer to collaborate and maintain the central backend. In our demo, we will use S3 as our backend. We need to mention the bucket name. So let's create a bucket for the backend. We will name it as video tf backend and copy the name for future use. So bucket has been created. Let's paste the name in the code. Now the key name will keep it as backend and the region of the bucket that is ap south one. Now, we are all set to use Terraform locally. Before moving ahead, I would want to test this locally. So to test the same, I have installed Terraform in my local system. And also, I have configured access keys and secret access key ID. So Terraform can access the AWS account. If you don't have the setup, you can skip the testing at the local and move on to the video. To test it, we need to run the command terraform init. This command will install the provider and also initializes the S3 backend. It's done, working perfectly fine. Because I have tested, the Terraform files have been created and I do not want them to store on git. So I will use a file called .gitignore. In this file, I will mention the name of the files which I want to ignore.
Now we will create a file called main.tf. Here we will add a small code to create VPC. Now it's time to configure the GitHub Actions. To do that, we need to create the directory structure that is .github slash workflows. To save the time, I have already created the YAML file which I will move to this directory. In this file, when the action will be triggered on the main branch, then the jobs will be triggered. I have defined two stages in the job. First, to configure AWS credentials. To configure the AWS credentials, I am using a assume role. Let's see the role and the permissions. Let's go to IAM console and search for our role. I have already created one role with this trust policy. For time being, I will assign administrator access to the role. In the second stage, I have mentioned the command to initialize and apply the Terraform code present in the Terraform directory. I hope this is clear to you. Now we will move the file in github slash workflows directory. Seems we have to move the git ignore file inside the Terraform folder and to update it again, let's do it. Now it's perfect. Let's push the code to the GitHub repo. It's done. Now let's check the files are visible in the repo. Yes, files are visible. Let's check the actions. So our workflow is running. Let's check this. Terraform has been successfully initialized. VPC is getting created. And done. VPC has been created. Now let's check the VPC in AWS console. Yes, it's there. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos. Thank you.